So we're here with Savannah and LaFountain at one of the most recent sugar houses, I think, <laughs> in Essex, right? It's probably yeah. the most recent. We started in 2020, right before the shutdown, and that was quite interesting. So I guess it gave us something to do during COVID, and um, we've expanded quite a bit. Oh, just show us around. All right, so. So the sacking's in here. Let's go up here, I cleaned it this morning. See. So we have an automatic releaser. This fills up and then it'll go out this bottom thing when it feels it needs to go. And we've been having it go about every 10, five, 10 minutes today. It's slowing down because the sun's setting. So this is, in, this is incoming? So this is the RO water. Oh, it's like okay. the clearest water you'll ever see. I always joke that this is our Sugar Shack swimming pool. So this is actually without the sugar. Yes, it's that is without, it's like almost pure like the, water. Almost like distilled water. Yeah. And this is the reverse osmosis machine right here. Yes, we call it the RO. It's very loud. I can tell. Essentially, this turns sap into more concentrated sugar water. So we're currently running at about 8% sugar, which Eight yeah, percent coming out. Yes, eight percent sugar coming out. So it goes from about two percent to about eight percent. Yes. Good. All right. So we're going up All here. Right, so we go up here. That pumps up. We have a 600 gallon per hour RO, which we can RO the sugar content from straight from the tree. It's about 1.6% right now. Um, we're running about 10 to 14% with our RO. Um, a lot of folks are running 28% or higher. So they have ROs with two posts that can, they can push that sugar through a lot quicker than we can. We run about 3000 gallons of sap in about six or eight hours with one post. We're, we're just, <laughs> running the machine a little longer for that. So from the tank upstairs, it comes down through this pipe and you can see all the condensation on it because it's so hot in here and that is so cold, cold up there. Obviously, yeah. And then this is our fancy smancy um, leveler. It is a bobber on a string and it tells us how much is left upstairs. So when the bobber reaches that line, we're out. Okay, and the sap right. goes into the evaporator here. So they're filling the arch right now. If you want to come this way and see inside a little bit. Very particular about how we fill the RO. We want the hottest spot in the last run. You mean the arch? We want the hottest wood. We want pine, birch, popple. We don't want to put oak or maple in the front right there because we want it hot. So we don't want a hot spot back here and make syrup here and have sweet water in the front. So you actually tune the firebox temperature-wise using different species. Right, correct. If we can, with a lot of sugar makers, get pretty picky about how these fireboxes are loaded. So I saw that you're one-handing it. Now, you know, we don't think of maple syrup making as being one of the uh, most dangerous jobs, but is that an on-the-job injury? Well, what happened is I was, I was pulling this uh, steam away uh, up with these uh, winch cranks and I put it to neutral and it came down and it broke the bone, center bone in my hand. So I'm going to put a, uh, an electric winch up there so I can stand far away <laughs> far from back. it, lift it up. But this thing empty weighs probably, I'm guessing, close to 800 or 1,000 pounds. Plus it has to lift that pipe up in the air 
so that we can access the, uh, the back pans. So that was a lot of pressure that came down onto my hand. And I was lucky it was just a broken bone. But follow me. So these are all of the barrels we've made so far. We've made a total of eight. They're each 40 gallons. And we're hoping to get to 10 tonight. So that'll be a total of 400 gallons this season. This is all regular syrup that we have bottled. And then this is bourbon syrup and we've still got some oh, other. So tell us about the bourbon syrup. So we put darker flavored syrup in a bourbon barrel and we let it age for about six months. And then we take it out, filter it, uh, press it again, and, and we put it in glass bottles. Like so. They're a little dirty because they've been in here for so that's a the long time. So that's the bourbon stuff, huh? That is huh? bourbon syrup, yes. Lovely. Are there any other Essex operations doing bourbon that you know of? I don't think in Essex. I know there are others that do it, specifically Runamuck and Georgia Mountain. They're um, the big ones, have a lot of different flavors. We just do bourbon, regular, and cinnamon. Now you're making other products as well besides syrup and bourbon syrup, right? Yes. What else I are make you making? A whole laundry list of stuff. My most popular thing is maple fudge, though. Savannah, how yes. much do you think you'll make this year? So last year we made 775 gallons, and so this year Brad has said 725, and I went with 780. All right. Thank you, Savannah LaFountain.